Hey everyone, I'm Antelis. Welcome back to Space Engineers. So you might notice that I have it paused and that we're also floating about 300 meters off the ground. So I should be able to make this landing, so I thought I'd bring you back for it. And let's just get started. I have my inertial dampeners off right now just because I'm still falling away. But I can slow down it pretty quick. So we'll turn them on about 100 meters. And on. Okay, now down. We'll turn them back off again for a moment just because we're so close to the ground. Come on, we can do this. 50 meters to go, 40, 30. And inertial dampeners on. I think we've already landed though. We did, and we lost a landing gear. Yeah, we're okay. Let's lock it in place. Lock in place. There we go. I think it automatically locked, and we'll shut off our thrusters. So, we've landed, and that means it's time to explore and see what we can find here. I, I'm not really seeing a whole ton. Then again, I don't have an ore detector on me. Okay, jump down the tube. And we've only got a 0.25 Gs here. So actually, let's go in and we'll shut off our gravity generator. Just because I don't think we really need it anymore. Our helmet is off right now. Let's put that on. Because it's a moon. There is no oxygen here. So. Yeah, welcome. Let's see what we can find. And let's see if this ship has the ability to fly right now. Okay. Oh, not the one I wanted. Power on. Thrusters on. And unlock. We're able to lift off a bit sluggishly, but we can lift off still. So, resources. What can we find? Because we should have a, a detector on this. And this thing should have plenty of hydrogen as well. Huh. Not really seeing anything, and maybe that's because this thing has such limited range. We should probably mark where the ship is, too. So, we'll get close. Then we'll come to a approximate stop. GPS, new from current position. And that is going to be our landing... Not a ladding. Landing site. Cool. So we got that marked. We don't need the carrier. Carrier is our point in space where we had left this when we were originally going to be landing at just the mining ship. Oh, ice. That is actually a pretty important resource for us to find because I think we're starting to run low on ice. So let's get down to it. Come on. Let me drill in to the surface. What is going on? I can't drill in. Dig, dig, dig. That is unusual. What? What is going on? We can't... I, I don't even know why. Has it just like not yet completely loaded? No, it's registered as having drilled in inventory. Ice, uranium, iron. I think these were mostly already here though. So one way to be sure, we'll dock up with our ship and drop off what we've got. So, I'm just, uh, this is why I want to move where these are, because if I hit it, there's a chance of it exploding because of a mod that I've installed. And I like it because it's a realism thing. So, it was completely my choice. Okay. 
We're in contact with it. Why can't we lock to it? Huh. Maybe we just damaged it. Oh well, let's get back to our ice spot that now seems to have loaded. And it's not registering ice here anymore. Interesting. That is so weird. What is going on here? And we can go further into it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it here and reload and see if that fixes it. So I'll catch you in a moment. Welcome back again. So, yes, I've reloaded it, and I can't figure out why the connector doesn't work, but this seems to be working here now. I actually haven't tried mining it yet, so let's do that and see if it loads that I'm drilling away at the rock here. Huh. Interesting. What is going on? Is it going to our inventory at least? Yeah, we've got ice on the ship. So I think it's working as far as giving us what we're mining. Oh, and it loaded now. So this part here is actually solid. Interesting. I have never seen this happen before. What is going on? It's maybe because this is the first time since I've played since they last released a patch. Maybe this is a new bug. And why am I stuck? I weigh too much. Oh ho ho. Okay. So, let's open the inventory. Ice. All the ice we can carry. And we'll get back over here. And this ship should just digest it. Without too much difficulty. But that raises another possible problem. Of this ship potentially weighing too much. However, I think it can hold a lot more than it is. Just because it landed so easily. So... Full thrust backwards and still nothing. Or we've got a landing gear locked. The landing gears somehow turned, whoops, wrong button, turned to automatic lock. Landing gear, auto lock, no, bad. And unlock, there we go. And drill. Still waiting for things to happen. Yep. Okay, we're gonna leave then. At least we got some ice, though. And we're gonna try to dock up with this ship again. Or what's this? It's a rock... ...that contains... nothing? Huh. Did I damage my ore sensor? My ore detector, I guess? No, it seems to be fine. What is going on with this? We'll flop. Well, flip the camera around. And let's see if we can dock it up. There we go. Lock. And thrusters off. Inventory. 
So is it grabbing these things now? Yes, it is. Cool. We gotta get rid of the ice as well. Hide empty on both. We need a cargo container. We're gonna put you in with the, uh, the ingots for now. Oh, that's our oxygen generator. It always wants to have ice. Okay. That makes more sense. But, okay. So we've got this stuff returned. Thrusters on, on dock. And let's get a plan to explore this place. I'm just gonna pull straight in to park this thing, too. I'm not gonna back it in like I usually do. Hydrogen thrusters are awesome, but sometimes they're a little bit too powerful for what I'm wanting. Lock thrusters off. Let's get out. Whoa. Okay. So, we need a surface exploration plan. And we need a way to detect ore from further away. I could put an ore detector on this and just skim it over the surface is what I'm thinking right now. I mean, we put some forward ones, maybe... I don't know where we'd put those. Right here? Let's see. And ore detector. Perfect. Here's a steel plate. But we've got those. Let's just place one in real quick and see how it looks. Now I think I want to recess it one more. I'm sorry. Okay. I think that's where I'm going to go for those. We'll go with twin ones. One on each side. And then we'll probably bury one in the floor too. Like, inside of the landing gear one. Like that. And we'll duplicate that as well. Because symmetry is fun. So we'll place you in. It's going to look a little different on the floor. Maybe we have to do this from above. I think this ship here, because it's so close, is interfering with it. So let's let's hop in. Thrusters on. Move me a little bit away. Actually, let's just float for a moment. And seven. Okay, there we go. And we'll just start to weld this a bit. That way we can land this and not worry about having more issues, hopefully. So, oh, I thought I was in proximity there. Lock. Thruster is off again. Cool. So that's the plan for those. And then we'll do a skim over the surface in this thing. I... It's going to cost a lot of fuel, a lot more fuel than the little miner, but I think it will give us better results given the large detectors have much, much better range. Oh, I need to find a new measuring point. So it's two blocks and then place from next to that. So one, two, place. Nope, one further. Let's do this from above. I think it's easier. And... Come on. Let me place this in there. Huh. Anyways, 
I guess I'll figure that off camera, and we'll do our uh, sensor sweep on the next episode. I'm Intellis. I will catch you later.